What is going on, Bitwise guy? And today we're going to be going over functions. I know I've already covered this, but I cover them terribly, so I'm going to cover them much better. Let's get started. Okay, so um, the first thing you should know about functions is that every Rust program has at least one function, the main function. So the main function, like in many other programming languages, is the entry point to the program. Now, if you don't know what the entry point to a program is, I will be putting a link in the description below, probably to a Wikipedia article. I'll go and find the best article that describes what the entry point is to a program. But, um, but every single program in Rust has an entry point. So... Let's go ahead and let's type out our entry point. So fn main, and to prove that this works uh, and that we only have one function in our program, what we'll go ahead and do is we will compile our program. So we'll say cargo uh, run, just like this, and it compiles and it's all good. Now, <clears throat> you'll notice up here that I have um, a previous attempt to make this tutorial and we've got a warning and we didn't get one down here. Uh, that's because the main function is a special kind of function. Um, and it is never it is never not used as it is the entry point to our program So let's say for example that we wanted to add two numbers together. So we want to add two two numbers, right? And we could do that as we know by the other videos we could say let X is equal to 5 plus 4 Oh, sorry 5 plus 6 and then we could say uh, print line um, And we can do uh, and we, all we have to do is then uh, say X so we'll print out X uh, let's go ahead and we'll run this just to prove that it works. So we'll say sudo cargo run. And as you can see, we get 5 plus 6, which is, of course, 11. But let's just say, for example, we wanted to use a function to print this out. Well, um, what we can do is, if we go underneath our main function here, and we can actually define some new functions. So let's just, let's just define a new function. So we'll call this one... Uh, fn, so for those of you who don't know, um, because you're obviously watching this tutorial to learn about functions, uh, the fn keyword is a reserved keyword, and it's shorthand for function. So basically what we're saying here is we're saying, define a new function uh, with the identifier add underscore numbers. Now, this little thing here is like, a, it's called our parameter list or our arguments list. And basically what this lets us do is it lets us take input into our function. So let's take two uh, inputs into our function. So we'll say x, and we must define the type of we must define the type of the input. So uh, the input type that we expect is a uh, i32, and uh, we're going to take one more uh, we're going to take one more parameter, sorry, and that's going to be y, and we're going to also make that an i32. So just like that, and finally we're going to make it return an i32. Okay, so. Like in some programming languages, so for example, um, C++, so C++, uh, for those of you who are familiar with C++, uh, you'll know that you can def you can define the return type as in like int. So essentially, this is the same thing as saying, you know, int um, add underscore numbers, um, uh, int x, int y, whoops, int y, and, and then saying, uh, you know, return... Um, x plus y. So that's essentially what we're trying to achieve, but in Rust. So, uh, so what we're going to do is, if we go up to our, if we go to our function up here, Rust has two kinds of returns. It has implicit return, so implicit, and it also has explicit return, so explicitly defining that we're returning. So let's go through both use cases here. All right. So the first one is the implicit return. So all we're going to do is we're going to say x plus y and that's literally all that we need to do. So now this function actually returns uh, the result of x plus y. And so to prove that, what we're going to do is we're going to be calling our function. So we'll say add underscore numbers, um, and we'll pass in the uh, values of 7 and 7. So we should get 14 back. And let's go ahead and we'll delete that. So jump over to your console over here, and we'll say sudo cargo run. And as you can see, we get the output of 14. So this is called an implicit return. Now, this, this is only useful, or this only works when this is the last, uh, I guess, expression in your, in your program. Now, what you want to do is, um, sorry, but let's say, for example, that uh, we wanted to return early. So, let's say, for example, we had, you know, lots of code... And then we had some more code and we had switch statements and all sorts of things like that, right? So we had if statements and, and, you know, and we'll get to if statements in a later tutorial. But, um, 
let's say for example we wanted to explicitly return a value so let's just say for example that that was the case we would type in return x plus y and we would say like that now we have got it with our implicit return and uh, we've saved this so let's go uh, sudo cargo run and as you can see we get the exact same result um, so thanks for watching guys and in the next video we are going to be going over how to assign a function to a variable